So I'm going to do the first part because I think the first part is pretty straightforward. I'm going to use the first part result to understand what's going on for the last part there. Uh, so show that the triangle vertices ABC is an isosceles right angle triangle. So in other words, if I have A, B and C, okay, uh, which is the 90 degrees one? Uh, you got A, yeah? Nadia, do you get A as a 90 degrees one? Okay, yeah? okay, good. So then this one here will be isosceles here. So this is like a A, B, and C, right? Now find point D in the same plane as A, B, C, D, A, B, C, such that B, C, D, B, C, D is equilateral triangle. Okay. D on B C D. Okay, 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 okay. Um so how do you <laughs> interesting? Okay. How would you do it? Okay. So now the A A has nothing to do with D la, right? Because if it's isosceles triangle, you know that um you need it to be what? You need it to be 60 degrees here. Okay, isosceles will be 60 degrees. So actually the first part has nothing to do with the uh do with the the equilateral triangle here. So so I can just erase this part here. So what I need is just B and C. Okay. So I'm gonna I, I need B and C. Although it tells you that uh it requires A. Now A is isosceles, uh this is 90 degrees lah. So this is like 90 degrees here. So you know that this if this is uh, isosceles triangle, right angle here, so meaning um, B and C is here. This is uh, it will cut here. Is that alright? Is that okay? Now, so my question to you is this: Ah, uh, uh, if you have a bisector here and A contains here, okay. So the next question is, uh, when I draw an isosceles triangle. What will happen? It will be 60 degrees here, right? This will be 60 as well, right? This will be 60 as well. So I think uh, 60 degrees would, would propel it further up than A because here. Because A is 90 degrees. Huh? So this one, like 90 degrees. Yeah, so it's here. So this is this is uh, D. This is 60. This is 60. This is 60 as well. Okay, it will... Yeah, so A is here. Lah. So the question now is how do you actually find point D? And you know that D will have two probable pos position, right? Right, why? Because you have one D on top, the other D below here. You can also have the other D here. Ma. Okay, so... Okay, so I I sort of understand what the question wants of me already. Uh, I take out the necessary information. Um, so how do I proceed, right? How, 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 how? You need to make use of what? You probably need to make use of... Uh, there are a few ways of doing this. I think... What you will prefer, I, I, I wouldn't use the angle, I, would, I would, wouldn't, wouldn't use the top product. What I will use is this one. I'll use this midpoint here. This midpoint here, I, I know the length of BC, right? What's the length of BC? So mod BC is equal to, okay, anyway, I'll, I'll let you know what to do. Lah. So essentially what I need is uh, D, C to D, the, the length to C to D, should be mod BC. Is that okay? Okay. So, because I know D will cut in the middle here, ma, 90, like, it will, but it will pass by A, because A is an isosceles triangle, so it will pass by A, and the midpoint here, actually can pass by the midpoint also. Oh, mid, oh we need the midpoint, okay, can. So I can actually find the line equation of AM, right? Am I right? You can find the line equation of AM? Okay, so, your, 
your you, you the first thing now is we need to settle line em first because we know for some lambda real value od will take the line equation of am okay so that's the main point you need to find the line equation first if you don't find the line equation you are probably like ground zero so i'm going to find midpoint uh, of bc which is actually m is actually uh, 4, 6, 11, plus 8, 1, 0, divided by 2, that is 12, 7, 11. That is my midpoint there. Okay. So, ugly, uh, number, it's 4, 6, 11, 11, eight, okay, great. So then, uh, we can actually find line AM. So we, we, we need to find we need to find uh, AM first. AM is actually just uh, half 12, 7, 11 minus OA, which is actually 0, 2, 4. So this would be 6. 7 over 2 minus 2 would be... So 2 minus 2 would be 3 over 2. 11 over 2 minus 4 would be 3 over 2 as well. Okay, help me check if I've got any issue there. So this is AM. So line AM will be R equals to 0, 2, 4 plus lambda and multiply by 2. A, multiply by 2 divided by 3. 4, 1, 1. This is the line equation. Then I reduce the question already. Right. Um I I reduce the question to what uh we, we can do, which is um we know that point D uh for some uh lambda D, so for some lambda real value, we now can use O D as the line equation. There you go. Then, what we do next is we just find the length of BC. Length of BC is actually, uh, I think we already found the first part. So since I didn't do the first part, I'm gonna just wing it. Square root four square plus five square. There'll be Okay, so I know that um, DC mod DC should be mod BC. So it doesn't matter whether you see or D. La. So I'm going to use C. So 810 is uh, 810 minus of D. Actually, I should use CD instead. So D minus C, 0, 2, 4, plus lambda, 4, 1, 1, minus of C, which is actually 8, 1, 0. B, C, mod B, C is actually, so this will be uh, minus 8. Okay, then I will just gonna, There you go. Um, then just key in calculator. So this is 16 lambda sixteen lambda square eight times four times two and the sixty-four lambda sixty-four
Okay, we'll remove the root. No root, so this will be 16 plus 2. Eighteen lambdas. Minus sixty four plus ten. Okay, moment of truth. <sighs> Let me check here. So lambda is uh, lambda would then be uh, minus b plus minus b square minus four ac. Actually, quick, we divide because we need the exact value, right? So then we can divide eighteen with three, four with three, eighty one with three. No, divide by nine. Okay, divide by nine. It will be two lambda. Be six lambda. Nine lambda. Minus plus minus b square. Thirty six. Minus eight times minus nine, one oh eight. Six plus minus one oh eight. Four. <laughs> Jalat. Okay, there you go. Um, one oh eight divided by nine is twelve. Divided oh, divided by four is three. Great. So, this would then be. Mono eight nine times four times three three times four um three times two is six is uh six over four three over two there you go all right so we got OD then. OD would then be um uh, hence plus minus three root three over two one one one. Yeah, so this is the answer. Four one one. This is answer here. So we get OD equals to zero to four. Okay. That's how we do the second part.